Welcome back, nerds and virgins. <laughs> um, if you're still watching my dumbass channel, thank you. Um, yeah. So, this was something in this video. This figure. Or, well, yeah, I may as well just give it away. Whatever, let's just... Happy face. All right, thanks, Abraham, for letting me borrow money to buy this. I still owe you. Um, should be uh, this week, and I should pay you in next weekend. I swear. Okay? Not just saying that to blow it out of my ass. <laughs> um, but if you haven't guessed, this is a 1-6 Joker figure based off the movie. Got this at um, SAC Anime with... The boy Abraham, or the Yee Stan as I call him. Also, uh, Aaron was there, Oscar, and Nick, surprisingly. Or, Bollywood Rock, Mr. Meek Meek, and the two-time. It's all dumbass nicknames that I've made up for the most part, except the two-time. The two-time comes up with his own, his own nicknames because he's the two-time, and he does that. He's the two time. You can't beat him. Son of a bitch. This thing's actually kind of difficult to do with one fucking hand. There we go. But yeah, this is the one six figure of the Joker from the movie The Joker. Um, Joaquin, I feel like Joaquin Phoenix did a really good job in his role as far as uh, a lot of people were comparing him to Heath Ledger, which, I mean, granted. He is up there with him, but I still do think Keith Ledger did a little bit better of a job than him. But the thing is, is they both were playing completely two different types of Jokers, I feel. Yes, this is the figure. You got his little cigarette right there, which I'm probably not going to take out. At least not for this video, just because I'm using one hand, so it's a little easier. Thing. But yep. Yeah. Taking off his plastic. Also, his gun is actually made out of metal. Like, if you've been... Here. Um, let me do it over here. See? Compared to something that'd be plastic, which... I don't even... Do I have a plastic gun around here? Um, not that I know. But, yes, here's the figure himself. That's him. Here's his uh, little stand, which I think also doubles as a as an accessory holder, if I'm not wrong. Or am I tripping out? Or does it open from over here, maybe? I think it does, but I could be wrong. I'm not quite sure what the fuck give me a second here <clears throat> sorry about that what the fuck well i'm not just gonna waste your time i think i was wrong about that i guess this doesn't hold the accessories even though i feel like it should maybe there's an instruction book in here on how to do it but i don't know here's his um other set of heads, just him not smiling. The smiling one that is already on him. Shit, and if I could just, if I could just pull out the whole damn thing. And here's the unpainted Joaquin Phoenix face. All these head scans are actually really good. And that's what you expect with these 1 6 figures, though. I mean, they're able to put so much more detail in. Here's his mask that he wears throughout the movie, and other several people wear as well throughout the movie of his little gang. Or, well, who knows, actually. It could just be people wearing it. Because, I mean, jo I think Joker's supposed to be an, on, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? 
Jesus, I'm retarded. Oh, there's a reason I call myself a dumbass. Uh, um, unreliable. A unreliable narrator. So, here's his little roses. He has all these extra hands and extra little things that go in for the hands in case you lose one. Here's his actual figure stand. So you just... Okay. Boom. It's a little short for him, though, so I'm not quite sure how the hell he's actually supposed to stand them on this. Like, is he supposed to just be like that? But then it just looks like it would grab onto his crotch. I actually don't know. Maybe there's some kind of extension or something. I don't know for now. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm not going to really display it with the stand anyways. Um, is there the... Oh, right, 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 right. So the thing that actually goes into this is the backdrop for probably the most famous scene in the movie, I think, is when he shoots the comedian guy. If it actually happens, like, again, throughout the whole movie, he's just like a really, fuck, I just said the word. I just said it, what the fuck? Um, unreliable, there you go. Unreliable narrative, Narr narrator shit, fucking Christ. <laughs> like I said, there's a reason I call myself a, dumb a dumbass in my channel name. But yeah, here's the figure. We're going to take a brief break and I'm going to pose him up and put him on display. So you guys will see the aftermath in just a second. So we'll be right back. Hey, we're back. And um, I posed him right up here where my movie figures are. And next to my other one six figures, this is John claude Van Damme. If you didn't know that. Big 80s, like, movie star. This is him and his, uh... Or him dressed as a uh, Guile from Street Fighter. I actually just bought a Van Damme figure and then bought the outfit. And, uh, just put the outfit on him, so I thought that was cool. Then you got this custom El Santo, who is primarily known for being a wrestler, but he also filmed and starred in a... Sh well, I don't know if he filmed the movies, but he starred in a, in a lot of old Mexican movies, so... A lot of people won't know him, but he was, you know, he was the Hulk Hogan, if you know who that is, <laughs> to, to Mexicans, basically. So, everyone knows who Rey Mysterio is, so he was, like, bigger than Rey Mysterio over there, basically. So, but this whole shelf, eventually, I'm only going to have five on six figures so of this scale, of just... Um, five movie roles that I, five movie roles that aren't just, like, my favorites. That's why I have Santo. He isn't really representing any movie role. At least as far as I know. The person that I bought it from just put it as Santo. So, you know, obviously that's a custom Santo figure. And I think it looks amazing, but I couldn't tell you what exact movie role this would be based off or anything. But I think it's just cool. And overall, all his movies were pretty freaking dope. Especially anyone that came with Blue Demo. Even if you can't understand Spanish, I mean, just watching them, these old movies and just putting subtitles on them, I think it's worth it. Uh, John Claude Van Damme and Street Fighter, I thought. A lot of people shit on the movie. It isn't great, but I liked him in it, playing Guile. So that's why he's here. And obviously, I'm. It, it's pretty obvious, but I'm a big ass uh, Joker fan. Uh, most of my friends know this, and um, <laughs> some stories go with that, but I uh, won't be discussing that today. But yeah, so I, I went with this pose. I was debating putting his little backdrop with him that he comes with, but I didn't want to just because it would cover up some of the pops behind us. I mean, you could say the figure's already doing that, but I'd at least like to see like them somewhat peeking through. So yeah, eventually I'm going to get two more. Not sure who yet. I I think one of them is going to be Ip Man. 
And obviously Donnie Yen playing him, so I might get one of his. And um, yeah, besides that, I'm going to give some small updates to the room after this little uh, cut because I don't want you guys seeing me get down from this ladder because it's this thing is actually pretty high up so yeah Boop. okay and we're back updates to the room um you I actually filmed little skits for this shit but I'm just gonna record it here um I got this mini fridge in here now which I still haven't plugged in because uh we have to transport it when it's laying when it was laying down so i have to let everything like settle back in but yeah i got a couple of stickers on here some they had already had some on it i actually peeled most of them off this was originally my brother's and he had a bunch of beer and like beer stickers he used to go to and like different weed shops and shit which i didn't mean this guy's actually a, uh a logo for some kind of weed or pill place but doesn't say the name i thought it was just cool by itself this Lodi beer works. I just kept it because it's the Lodi bear. And obviously, I I fucking grow, grew up in Lodi. And it does actually have the bear drinking a beer. I thought that was kind of a cool. I put these little uh, Cholo Char, uh, Charmander. I mean, there is a Charmander. But these little Cholo Pokemon stickers on. The Slurking Class sticker, which is just a brand that I really fuck with. Um, another brand that I really fuck with or maker i guess is angry lemonade he's the guy who made my logo and uh, he made all three of these pins two of them being new jack and then this is just his logo this is just a sticky um cork or pin fucking thing so i thought that was just cool and i stuck it on there so if, if he ever comes out with more cool pins that i want i'll probably stick them in here i mean there isn't much room left but that's just because this one has the backdrop. But yeah, that's that. Um, up top, there's obviously just my glasses. I have this uh, cartoon little bowl. Oh, shit. It's got the Jetsons, the Yo uh, Yogi Bear, Scooby-Doo, Tom and Jerry, the Flintstones. Back to the Jetsons. To go with that, I got these two mugs, or... This is the mug, and this is just a small cup of Scooby-Doo with some villains. By the way, this cup oddly strikes me because this this villain just oddly strikes me as being paired with all the rest of these guys. Because this is from the What's New Scooby-Doo show. And the rest of these are like straight classic villains from like the original Scooby-Doo. So it just strikes me as odd that they put him in. Like he fits, especially since they have the... Uh, I forget his fucking name. But they have the uh, scuba diver guy underneath here. So it fits, you know, with the whole ocean vibe on this side. But just, again, it just strikes me as odd that they included him instead of another classic Scooby-Doo villain, I guess. And then you got the Scooby-Doo holiday mug. It says holiday cheer. That's pretty cool. This, um... The serial killer bowl that I got for a Christmas present from my brother also came with the spoon that says, uh, you can't read it because it's the light reflecting off it, but it says Michael the serial killer. But obviously, serial being like the actual serial, so haha, -ha, you know, joke. Um, t touched on this in the previous video, but this Jason cup and I got a Chucky one. This next, uh, this last time I went to Walmart. This one I haven't showed off, but it's extremely cool. This like gore, big cup, and it fits a shit ton in it. Like I actually have a whole apple cider bottle in here that I haven't even finished. Next to that, I have this uh, Top Gun uh, Maverick cup I got from the theaters. My friend Jacob. Offered to pay, so like, I just kind of got him to buy me that. You, and that you might think that's fucked up, but each of us take turns paying for stuff, so it's you know. And then I have this whole set of um, Charlie Brown mugs and stuff with actual coasters. Um, my mom was supposed to give me this for Christmas, but I stumbled upon it when she opened her trunk when she was helping me transfer something, and sure enough, she just decided, fuck it, just 
just gonna give it to me now because I already know it's there. Yeah, that's all my cups here though. And yeah, at least that's the update for just the mini fridge. Um, I just got this ghost face today at Walmart. It's actually branded by Dead by Daylight, which was uh, odd to me. What's odd to me is like Scream items in general actually aren't branded by Scream. Like even this ghost face cap that I bought at Walmart is not branded by Scream. It's branded by Ghostface, the icon of Halloween. So it's just a little odd. I love this pin on it. It's just genuine how I react when people tell me they like scary movies. <laughs> uh, by the way, a whole mask display video will be coming out soon. I'm just waiting on items to show up, and I gotta order a couple other things. But um, back to the door. Uh, everyone's already seen this. This was in the previous video, but I added some blood work on it. This um, is you. I mean, you can already see it from the other side, but this hazard zone tape. Um, this mask, which. Won't be going in the mask display just because it's going to stay right there. I figure it gives a pretty good idea just what's going to be inside this room and then just the back of it. I think really tops it off. I added some blood stuff over here. You can't really tell because uh, I don't have fucking lights in this room. Well, I got lights in this room, but it isn't set up the best. Just take my word for it, the blood's... I have little blood stickers like the one on the other side. Um, I already showed off this arm, but I haven't shown off this little finger. You wind it up and it actually moves. This like little zombie guy that shoots out his eye. Let me see if I can get it to actually do it. Nope, he doesn't want to do it. Bastard. Damn, he really doesn't want to do it. Shit. That's that though. Um, something I don't think I've shown off in a previous video or are these lights that have added to the TV setup. You get another extension. Also, I, I, I'm pretty sure I've shown off the, this one. I just can't turn it on right now because I have to actually turn it off by the actual manual thing because I don't know why, but this thing now, whenever I go to turn it off, it'll turn off a little bit and then it'll just flash one color and it'll stay at that color. So it's a little annoying. But yeah. Um, any other updates? Oh, um, I added this Samurai Shampoo sore that I already had. I just added in there. Um, I got a couple of bags here that I'm just hanging. Jesus, focus. Focus, you piece of shit phone. Focus. Uh, I also just got this today. At a dollar store. Scooby-Doo just... Little bag, you know, when you go freaking store shop, when I mean, you go to the store. Uh, behind that, I have my little working class bag. And this belt I have hanging because I'm going to buy another buckle for it. Um, but yeah, I got my little lurking class bag. Which, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do with that or if I'm ever going to use it. My bag is just kind of filled, but it's fine. Uh, besides that, I have the BB gun there. And yeah, it is a BB gun. It has a little orange tip. And just the closets here. I have my movies right here. I got a Wii in here now. My 3DS is in here now. I actually thought I left it at the previous place we were moving from. So I was actually extremely happy to find out that I did it. Um, the painting I did in senior year of art class. Also this uh, paranormal... What is it? Yeah, Paranormal Circuit, or Circus, I went to and I got these, I, I got this from there, and really everything there is like pretty pricey, I mean just to get a picture with some people cost you money, which I thought was kind of bullshit, because just the price already charging to get in isn't like, uh, like cheap price, to be fair, I mean we did get front row tickets, but I got some more like gore stuff at um, Walmart. Along with the uh, when I got the ghost face over there, so I I just threw some like bags at the bottom of this. I have this sticking out. It's got a brain, a lung, a heart, like, some ears, some fingers, and, a, and some eyeballs. 
Not sure if that's where I'm going to keep that at, actually. But, yeah. Also put on display the Stephen King book behind this uh, custom Finn Balor uh, Pennywise render. Rendition. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's just how the room is as of now. I have my fucking dirty laundry basket right here, even though it, I mean, it does have dirty laundry in it, but it just has stuff that I need to take the cleaners, actually. And, um, yeah, I guess that'll do it for this video. Just these Halloween decorations that really are not going to be Halloween decorations, because I'm going to be for real if you, even after October, I'm going to keep them up. They're just going to be permanent decorations in my room until I have to move or, you know, whatever. But yeah, for now, I'm just keeping my movies there. I have a little pipe with paint on it because I was uh, just messing with some paint to put on my blood on these wrestling figures, my ECW guys. It's supposed to be glow in the dark, but it uh, doesn't really seem to be working for me. Even when I let them out in the sun, so maybe I'll have to do that another day trying to maybe i'll feature that in another day in another video if i ever get that to finally work but uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video you guys isn't the longest or at least i don't think it is sorry about the length of my last video being like an hour long again i didn't edit that at all neither will i edit this video i'm just not not, not that I'm not making money and I don't have to, like, I'm not going to put anything into it. It's not that reasoning. It's just the fact that, you know, I'm I'm doing this all off of a phone in case people didn't know. So it's not the easiest to go in and edit stuff. Eventually, I will, again, eventually I will get a camera, a mic, so everything should get better eventually. Um, And yeah. And my thumbnail should probably get better since uh, my friend Oscar will be my, my probably my thumbnail picture person. Just because uh, uh, he's an aspiring fucking uh, photographer. Sorry if I keep getting breaks in my voice there. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for the likes and the views on the last couple of videos. No, it isn't much, but I mean, it's more than I would expect to get. So uh, thanks again. And I'll see all you nerd, you fellow nerds and virgins next time. See ya.